Let's say good morning to Allie Wagner because she has made it up to Del Mar. Yeah. Hi, Allie. And, and she's got Cindy Whitmark. And I was so... Can I tell you that I was so afraid as while Bill and I were driving up here and there was some rain on the windshield and I went, they told me to bring my umbrella and I didn't. So, anyways, it's anyways, good. You digress. <laughs> so you guys are okay. The hair looks fine. The we're hair okay. looks good on we're, both you guys. Our hair is still okay. Yeah, the hair is fine. Yeah. We're still okay. <laughs> right. <all> so. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Thank goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Cindy. It's perfect. Uh, Dan says hello. Dan and Liz say hello. Hi, I know. So, Cindy. for people who don't know, this is the second year we've been doing this. Yes. Yes. It is the Mike Whitmarsh Memorial Tournament, the yes. volleyball tournament that's going on. Yes. And tell us a little bit about why you guys started the volleyball tournament for people who don't know. Yeah, so seven years ago, Mike passed, and we did a golf tournament every year. Our, we started our foundation. And then when Jaden and Kendall, our daughters, started playing beach volleyball, it just seemed a perfect transition to make it into a beach volleyball tournament. Last year was the first one. This one is the second one. It was so successful last year that um, this year it's doubled in size, and the sponsors are amazing, and the legends that are coming out today for the Legends game at 1 o'clock, it's just going to be amazing. It's a great day to come out, even if you're not playing. So for people who don't know, Mike Whitmarsh, a legend in the volleyball world, went to USD, local here in San Diego, and was very well known in the volleyball yeah. circuit. I mean, yeah. he was he was up there. Yeah. He got a silver in the Olympics in 96, and two of his partners, um, David Swadek and Canyon Seaman, are going to be here today. Canyon's actually here right now. Um, played with him forever, and he was a legend. And the great thing about Mike was that he made so many friends, even his opponents, like, you know, like the gnarliest opponents were his best friends. You know, he just made, he had that presence. He made friends, and there, and it just shows the people that are coming out today and supporting this. Now, volleyball, beach volleyball has become big. Now they're giving away scholarships for it. And this year's tournament is special because it's going to a local in Savannah Rennie, yes. who is a volleyball player who's yes. from here in San Diego and is fighting her disease, right? Yeah, she um, played for Tory Pines, played for Wave, who is um, one of our sponsors and helping run the tournament. She's a young uh volleyball player that uh, plays for Cal, but she can't play now. She's waiting for a transplant. Um, she's on the top of the list because she's young, but she's just waiting, and it's a sad situation, and, uh, you know, it's um, it's hard, you know, the, and regardless of what happens, the amount of money that's going to take for her to live for the rest of her life is going to be outrageous, so that's why we this year decided to make all of the funds go to her. Which is so important, and I know that, uh, like I say, KUSI, we've covered her with her volleyball and Tory Pines volleyball, and so that's why this is such a cool tournament. For people who want to get involved, they can obviously come down and be, not play today, but they can come down and be a part. Where can they find out more information about this? So they can go to our website, um, MikeWhitmarshVolleyball.com, and just make a donation if they want to to Savannah. Um, or they could also just come down and watch Legends game and make a donation here at the tournament today. Very cool. Perfect day to be at the beach. I know, I know. It's a, I mean, honestly, you know, it's like a little bit of sun, but it's perfect for everyone. Put on sunscreen because Put that's when you get burned. I know, I know. <laughs> and, I mean, it's a good workout playing some volleyball, Cindy. It is. It, <laughs> oh, my gosh. In my mind, I'm really good. Like, I watch my daughters play. I'm like, I would have gotten that. What the heck? But I'm really, I'm really not that good. We but love it. Amazing. What a fun event going on today. Like I said, Del Mar Dog Beach. So if you want to come out, make a donation, get involved, you can do that. Guys, back over to you. Hey, I just wanted Cindy to brag about her daughter and the fact that she's getting a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want her to tell I everybody. I know. Cindy, talk about your daughter. She, yes. Yeah, so Jaden, a sophomore at Torrey Pines, accepted a scholarship to UCLA. And her coach is Stein Metzger, who played against Mike, but ha we've been friends with them for 15 years. He and his wife are amazing people. So it's just like, it's like having a home. It's like having her go to, you know, one of my brothers. He's just, it's going to be an amazing experience. I just think it's so cool that now beach volleyball has really hit the scene as far as sports is concerned that uh, because, you know, it's, it's, they're giving out scholarships now. It's a big deal. That's happened in the last few years. Yeah. 
people are actually leaving indoor. Indoor used to be, well, indoor is still huge, obviously. Yeah. But there's a lot of people who are quitting indoor and just going straight beach because of the scholarships that are out there now for girls. Right. Beach volleyball. It's amazing. Wow. It's really fun and super competitive, which is which is fun. Oh, we're so proud of your daughter. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> See, we got the info, Dan. <laughs> yes, again, only a sophomore. Yeah. She's only a sophomore in high school, and she she's got her scholarship. She's set. Well, she's ready to go. Already that is re- awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Skills. Skills. She's got mad spiking skills. <laughs> yeah, she's, got some, skills. she's got some pretty good heritage. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good heritage. I, I don't have those kind of skills. <laughs> like, you yeah. guys are spiking it. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. No, like, not quite. Like, you no, can bump. I can bump. Like, <laughs> bump yeah. set spike. Bump yeah. set spike. Bump set spike. Whenever I've been at the schools, bump set when they're kill. like trying to do like PE class, I get really competitive because I try to join in sometimes after the pep rallies, and I'm always like, no, guys, it's bump no. set spike. Do you <laughs> not know how to play the game? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Get yeah. it together. We know, we know. Like we know. as though I'm a professional or something. <laughs> well, everybody's always easy with advice. Anyway, great, yeah. <laughs> great to see you guys. Yeah. What give a great Cindy, thing. Give Cindy a hug for us, and we'll see you later. Oh. Give her a hug. Big hugs. Yay. Yeah, big hugs. There you go. Thanks, All right, Cindy. we'll see you later. Yeah. You know, and if you can't get involved this year, plan for next year. Yeah. You know, we're trying to do this game. every year, so. Bring the A game. In. How about that? <laughs> Almost 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and it's about time to check back in with Allie Wagner. Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, look yeah. at her. And she's got some new friends. Hello, Allie. Good morning. Yeah. Hey. You know what? I love to make friends out here, right? Who doesn't <laughs> want to make friends at the beach? Yeah. And what better way to do that than playing some beach volleyball, which is what is going on today. It is the Mike Wish Whitmarsh Memorial Tournament. And I have Matt here. This is all going to a special cause. Now, you knew Mike. But this is going to Savannah Rennie. Tell me a little bit about her story. Sure. Savannah Rennie was a former resident of San Diego. She's currently in Indiana awaiting a liver transplant. And she played at Torrey Pines High School, played away volleyball. And she's at Cal as a freshman on a volleyball scholarship. And uh, all the proceeds going right to her and her cause. Wow. And fighting a rare liver disease. Cindy, I'm sure this was a no-brainer to get Savannah involved, to have the volleyball community and San Diego community rally around her. Yeah, it was. Uh, Matt and I met this year and talked about the tournament last year and last year the uh, money went to our foundation but this year we wanted it to be for a special cause and it just was a perfect fit because she's you know a member of our community in the wave community and it's and she's so special to all of us and so it's just a perfect fit for this year. Right, so you can come down. Obviously, you can get make donations. I know. I think I've seen a GoFundMe page for Savannah as well. Yeah, correct. Savannah has a GoFundMe page. There's a Savannah Strong website going, and so yeah, there's a lot of opportunities to help the cause. But yeah, Savannah Rennie, she's the one we're all here for. It's she and Mike Whitmarsh, and a lot of people down the beach having fun playing volleyball. Well, and and I think you know, like you say, you played against Mike before. I mean, you guys are all such a strong community and support each other. That's the most important part. Yeah, volleyball is commonly referred to as a very small, tight-knit community, and there's no question. I played Mike back in the day. His daughters are actually in our volleyball club now, and so it's all full circle and a lot of friends, again, coming together for one cause and just having a blast uh, day at the beach here in Solana Beach. Yeah, this is so awesome, and you guys have – this is bigger than ever. This is going to be going on all day, too. All day. Um, The coolest thing is the Legends game is at 1 o'clock. Eric Fanoi Moana, who's a gold medalist, is going to be here playing – Casey Jennings will be here. Um, two of Mike's partners, Canyon Seaman, who we'll talk to in a little bit, and David Swadek, and Mike Lambert, and Brian Ivy, and so many really cool players. It's going to be really fun. And we stop all play, so none of the kids play. We just watch the Legends game. So if you are a beach volleyball fan, and this is like the day for you, you need to come out, you need to get down here. <laughs> you need to come out and watch, because it's hilarious. We have uh, Matt Unger, who is one of the funniest people, OB, Steve Abravich, and then... Um, Geeter Chris McGee, who was the announcer for the ABP forever, and he is so fun and so funny. He'll be announcing the Legends game, and it's just going to be a blast. You know what? There are so many talented kids down here, too. That is what I am shocked about. I mean, some of these girls watching them play is incredible. Yeah, there's 60 teams total, and the the youth division comprises 35 of those teams. So It's a a movement going on. A lot. 60 teams, all here, four-man teams. Most teams have four or six players, so the beach is full. Oh my gosh! Does, does this just warm your heart? Can you, are you pinching it yourself? Does. No, I'm, I, I've already cried three times today. I know I look really bad on camera right now, but 
It's it really it's so special. Like all of the people that are that come out to support Mike and our girls and our family and our foundation and the Wave family. It's just it's really special. It really is. And I can see like both my girls this morning were like in tears. They're like they're so excited for this. It's every year it's just it reminds them about their dad and it's just really special. Very cool. Well, this will be going on all day. Like you heard, the Legends game happens at 1 o'clock, so if you want to come and check that out, and obviously all going to a great cause supporting one of San Diego's own in Savannah. Rennie, guys, back over to you. Well, that certainly looks like a lot of fun. I want to go out and bump set and spike. I know. The, the right. Legends game at 1 o'clock. Allie, thank okay. you so much. Good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Yeah. See you later. Okay, on to some <laughs> other stuff. Happening right now at Del Mar Dog Beach. Yeah, there's a big beach volleyball tournament going on. Mike Whitmarsh in his name, who used to be a great volleyball player. And there's Cindy Whitmarsh, and there's Allie. Hi. And Hi all guys. of her new pals. Good morning. Yes. Yes. And, and look, oh, who's the new guy? Well, Dan, let me tell you, this guy, he's not new. He's new to you, maybe. But he's not new to the volleyball scene. This is gold medalist. This is Eric. He's 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 the champion. The what Eric do you call him? Noi Moana, the bod. The bod. I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't say your last name. Yeah, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a mouthful. You weren't the first one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even attempt. I'm like, all right. Just Eric's like it's so much easier. Gold medalist Eric. I think yeah. that that's just you should stick with that. That's my tagline. Yeah. I, I wore it too. I wore it everywhere. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't wear it this time. In 1996, yes? 2000. 2000, 2000. Oh, my gosh. Sydney, Australia. Holy cow. Tell me what that was like. Well, it's a dream. I mean, we always start here like these kids right now. I mean, I thought I was going to the Olympics, but not in beach volleyball. Yeah. Uh, beach volleyball wasn't even an opportunity, but in 1996, it became the official sport or uh, aid of sport to play beach. And... And then at that time, I was like, okay, I'm going. I have a chance now. So Amazing. Uh, good opportunity, a dream that these kids, hopefully they have the aspirations to do it. Um, but enough to announce, it was a great journey. Now, beach volleyball has become, as Cindy knows, I mean, her daughter has a scholarship yeah. now. I mean, it's become a whole different sport. What advice do you give to young athletes? Because there's a lot of them here in San Diego who are very talented. How do you, how do you raise your game to that next level? Well, I'm, good coaching is one, but more than anything, you got to have a love for the game uh, and enjoy what you're doing. This is a long process. A lot of veterans take a long time to learn the game, but they have the advantage of having good veterans um, teaching them as opposed to, like, we were self-taught, and we had to learn the hard way. Like, why are you doing that? It doesn't make sense. Well, it took us a long time to figure it out. Now we can share those experiences and, and give it to these girls at an earlier age so they can be more efficient at playing. Tell me what it means to, for you to be at this tournament today and to honor Mike and his memory. Well, Mike and I played together uh, way back when, and um, it's more just sharing with each other um, a, a game that we love to play. And um, this is the way Mike liked to spend his afternoons is, and, and mornings and I still, if I could, if I had the time, I would do it every day. But, I mean, we have responsibilities, and I have my own kids now. Uh, but if nothing else is just share uh, the enjoyment of beach volleyball. Uh, it's a lifelong sport, too. So it opens so many doors for all of us. Uh, and, and even today, I'm older now, but I still love playing. I know. I you should You should have seen a ball comes flying over here, and Eric's like, Oh, it hits it back, no problem. It goes, I still got it. I still got it. In case you were wondering, I still got the skills. Yeah, I still have the skills. I just run a little bit slower. And, and then I was telling Sydney, if, if the ball was out of my reach, I let it go nowadays. Before, I'd be like, get out of my way. I can get it. Now, now, now I'm like, nope. I don't know, this legend game, this legend game that's happening at 1 o'clock, there might be a little uh, com competitiveness I th I that think, comes out. I think crap's going down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think I'll have to get my competitive juices going, but I'm going to be extremely warm before that happens. There you go. I'll be sweating. I might have lots of layers on, but I am not going to be like... Oh, I'm not ready to play yet. So. Yeah, yeah. If there's okay. bragging rights, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I feel like um, the prerequisite for playing volleyball is being tall, but I feel like I need a few more inches. Yeah, I'm one of the short guys. I'm 6'3", and I'm short, so I do the, all the little things. That is crazy.
crazy. This is this is so cool. I mean, that's so fun to have so many great legends who are out here today. I know. It warms my heart. Like, just having people like Eric and, you know, Mike's partners that he's had in the past and friends and people he's played against just to come out and, it, you know, for the girls, it's really special. I mean, like I said, every year they're just, oh, my gosh, I can't believe Daddy really did that and, and has these people that love him and cared about him. Well, right, and carrying on his memory to the next generation of players who are out here today. Some of these kids, they've got some skills I've been watching. Yeah, and these girls have a great opportunity, too, because before it was just indoor volleyball where you can get a scholarship, and now there's beach volleyball, and I coach that uh, opportunity. So in, in high school, there's so many opportunities for these girls to potentially get a scholarship to uh, – Play something that we were like, yeah, right. You're gonna give me a scholarship. I'm all over that. <laughs> that <is so laughs> Where do I sign up for that? But right. so they have double opportunities, and I hope they um, they go after it. I mean, yeah. Why not? What a cool experience! And they get to come and meet legends like you out here today. Yeah, they, like, Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's so yeah, awesome. Look it up on the internet or something. <laughs> Wikipedia, real quick. Yeah. Wikipedia. All right, guys, back over to you. <clears throat> legend. I, I wonder how he feels about being called a legend at this point. He's still pretty young. <laughs> I know. Hey, Allie. <laughs> yeah. You, you know. Hey, you know. Yeah. Real quick, did you get a chance you, to ask? You don't call me. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. wait. Dan, yeah, I'm, I'm not here. a legend yet? No. <laughs> I'm not, not a legend yet. yet. You, no, you still have some work to years. do. Okay. You're not legend <laughs> yet. They said you're a little young for a legend, and I was like, well, I think I'm a no, not a legend yet? Yeah, yeah, no? yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool deal. But you Liz, will you be. had a question, too? You're no, working I was going to ask legend. you if you had a chance to ask Cindy for me. I sent you a text. Uh, Misty May, if she's there. Oh, so Misty. I don't think Misty May's not going to be here, but Liz went to, what, do you go, You went to high school with Misty May? Re uh, she Liz did. It? Stop it. Yeah, no, she's not going to be here, but that's really cool. She's, like, yeah. one of the I legends. I just to Misty yesterday. Oh, really? Um, yeah, She's just, for her and her career, is just amazing that you can go for that long and be so successful. And again, Misty was someone who still loves the game. She was brought up with the game, though, too, from her parents. Um, but it's just nice to to see, you know, what she's done with her partner, Carrie, as well, and uh, for beach volleyball. Because, again, if you have two of those girls as your ambassador, like me and him for soccer. Yeah. Well, how, how awesome is that to have them as your role models and and go, oh, gosh, that's a possibility. I'd love to be Misty May or I'd love to be Carrie Walsh. I think in those words would be like, yeah, go for it because it's <laughs> awesome. Either way, it's a great experience. Oh, girl power. Hey, girl see, power. <laughs> they, they, obviously, everybody kind of knows Misty May trainer, but yeah. Anyways, not here today, Liz, but that's kind of cool, cool that you Yeah, you no, grew I went up to I went to uh, college with her, Cal State Long Beach. We graduated college. the same year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really cool. Ah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Nice. Very cool. All right, guys. All is well. Well, thanks a Thank lot. You. We'll see you guys later. Spike that thing. I know it, right? Boom. Yes. And so this is the second year they've been doing this and good times. Yeah, Allie is there right now. Let me tell you, if you want to go to the beach and you don't want to get in the water, just head on out there and watch some great volleyball. Right, Allie? And you can meet Cindy yes. Whitmarsh's kids, too. Is that who you have there? Uh, yeah. You got some little Whitmarsh kids? <laughs> of course. Yes. Yes, Jayden. I have KK here with me and her team. I want everybody to say their names. Harley. I'm Christiana. Annabelle. Nice. So you guys have been playing today. You guys, you play volleyball all the time, though, yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. And you guys play together all the time? Yes. Yeah. What team are you on? Um, well, we play indoor and beach, okay. so um, for indoors, we're on 12s and 13s, a mix. Nice. What do, you, what do you like playing better, beach or indoor? I like playing indoor better. Do you? Yeah. Well, this one, you get you get, get a little sandy sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the downfall, right? But there are, there's positives. What's, what's the difference between the two? Um, indoor, there's a lot more people, so you don't get to uh, touch the ball as much. Okay. Beach, right. it's easier to dive and stuff, so it's more fun. <laughs> that is true. You get Because if you dive in indoor, you're going to hurt yourself, usually. <laughs> that I would hurt myself. <laughs> I think I might hurt myself doing either one of them. Now, KK, tell me what this means to you. Look at how many people are here to support your dad. I know. It's just so much. It's so cool and so much fun to have everybody come out and just celebrate my dad and his life. And I'm just so excited to see what happens the rest of the day. Yeah, so you guys 
I mean, it's got to be cool to hear the stories. Oh, and yeah. It always reminds me of him and his personality. That's so that's so cool. Oh, cool. yeah. And, I mean, now you play a sport that he loves so much. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. So you guys lost your first two, so now the pressure's on to win one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What are we going to do in order to win one? What are you guys going to work on? Just have great effort and give, give it our best. Try and go for every ball. Yeah. Stay positive. And talk a lot. Teamwork. Oh, I love it. I'm like, teamwork. Do you guys have a team name? Uh, Wit 13s. Wit 13s. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Then we got to we gotta do the, like, okay, so we're going to go, um, gosh, I don't, what do we say? Wit 13s on three. Wit 13. Oh, look at you. She's like, I got this. Okay, ready? Wit 13s One, on, on three. three. One, two, three. Wit 13s. Woo. Okay, we're trying. And we have a special guest who will be here who's coming for the Legends game, Cindy, right? Can we announce that now? We can announce it. Carrie Walsh and Casey Jennings are coming. Woo! So that's even better. So now this Legends game, I don't know if they'll play. But Case, Casey will play, but Carrie will not. We need to save the shoulder. Yes, save the shoulder. But she'll be here to sign stuff. Nice, which is so cool. This is so much fun, and there are so many teams. And the future of volleyball <laughs> is right here. I found them. You didn't even, I don't know if you were looking for them, but I found them. Guys, back over to you. I was wondering about the future of volleyball. So, Carrie's not going to play. Um, ask, I knew you were. I know. Ask Cindy, uh, is Carrie going to play in the Olympics again this year? What's going on? Oh. Yeah. See, now Dan wants all the dish on Carrie, and if she's going to play the Olympics and all of those. Of course she is. Of course yeah. she's going to play. She's killing it right now. She's doing great. Her shoulder is awesome. She's fine. Yeah. See? Done Look. And done. done and done. That's happening soon, you know. The gold awesome. medal is coming. <laughs> Yeah, done and done. And to think, to think you can go down there <laughs> Look, to Delmar Dog like, Beach and watch Cindy's all of this. like the cheerleader right? for the Olympic team. Didn't you know this? this? Yeah, I know she is the cheerleader for the Olympic team. I do understand. Yeah. And, and she's a good one, right? too. And yeah. she's she's also coaching right? the next generation. And yeah. What is he saying? He says you're coaching the next generation. But, I mean, considering we have KUSI's fitness expert, Hello. this is a great way to work out. Uh, what 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 body parts are we working out here in the sand, the Every beach volleyball? Every single Every body part one that you have yes. will be worked yeah. out. Exactly. So there you go, Dan. You don't have to go running. You can just <laughs> do this. Go running. Right. Like I would go and running. You, and you're done. <laughs> yeah. You've worked exactly. every single body part. I know you don't go running. After playing volleyball. No. So I'm going to have you work every single body part by just doing this. All right. Okay. Whoa. I know. I Listen, I love beach volleyball. I'm yeah. a little dude too, but I'm I love only scrapping. looking out for you. Yeah. Only looking out for you. I know That's you all. are. I know you guys. You well, guys look are the at best. the turnout so far, man. This is only getting better. You it's know, awesome. second year, next year, it'll be bigger and better. Yeah. I want big names. This is awesome. All right, kids. See you Thanks, later. Allie. Adios. Thank you, Cindy. Awesome. Bye-bye. All right, now.